the hospital. When I was little, my daddy hurt himself and went to hospital. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Mummy went to see Daddy. So I played with Angel. Well, he came through. Angel and me played dressing up. I put on a crown. Angel wheeled me around in my carriage. At night time, Daddy wasn't better. I slept in Mummy's bed. I wanted to see my Daddy. Me when Daddy told me up. I like the picture of Daddy lifting me up to touch the sky. Mummy took me to see Daddy in the hospital. What's that, Mum? That's an ambulance. I like the hospital. The hospital was big. The hospital was busy. We squirted smelly stuff on our hands. Mummy said that in the hospital, everything had to be clean. Don't forget, Willie. There were lots of busy people. It was nearly lunchtime, but people were still in bed. What are those people doing, Mummy? They're all getting better. Mummy said the people were getting better. They didn't look very better to me. Some people were wheeled around in their beds, looking for their pajamas, I thought. Daddy had a special room he lived in. Oh, hi. We're done now, so you can go in and see him. I wanted to see Daddy. I looked in the door. There was a man in the bed with a towel on his head. Hi there, Tig. He looks like a puppet with strings. Go and say hello to Daddy, Tig. No, I said. That's not my Daddy. Hey, Tig. Hospitals are funny places, all topsy-turvy. They can make you feel all topsy-turvy too. Daddy might not look like Daddy, but Daddy is still Daddy. Daddy looks different, that's all. Daddy hurt his leg, so he's wearing a plaster on his leg to make it better. But he's still Daddy. Daddy hurt his head, so he's wearing a bandage to make his head better. But he's still Daddy. Whee! Daddy looks like a puppet with tubes and things. Diddly doo doo, diddly doo. <laughs> but they are all there to make him better. You look different at angels when you dressed up like a king. Daddy's dressed up like a king too. So hey Tig, have fun with Daddy now he's a king with his crown and his own royal carriage. Wee! And then one day, Daddy will be all better and lift you up to touch the sky again. Yes, I thought. I want to see my Daddy with his white bandage crown and his puppet strings. Right. I'll tell you the funny story about what happened. Daddy told me the funny story of why he was in hospital. <laughs> he tripped over running for a bus. Silly Daddy hadn't tied his laces. The blue nurse came in and found Willie on the bed. It's only a toy spider. <laughs> I like hospitals. I love my Daddy. And I love Willie. We've been together since we were me. My favourite dinosaur. When I was little, I liked dinosaurs. I had some toy dinosaurs. I had a stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. I had a tyrannosaurus. Rhinus, Rhinus, Rex. And a triceratops. Triceratops. But my favourite dinosaur of all is my Diplodocus. Diplodocus. Willie liked my Diplodocus too. 
I played with my dinosaurs a lot. Wow. At nursery school, I painted a big, big diplodocus. I gave my diplodocus lots of leaves to eat. My friend Louise liked dinosaurs too. Her favourite dinosaur was Tyrannosaurus. We played Tyrannosaurus games. One day, Mummy said, What's your favourite dinosaur tick? Diplodocus. Well, said Mummy, Grandad is going to take you to see a real Diplodocus. A real one? I was frightened. It's in a museum. It's millions of years old, so it's just bones. Okay, just bones. Just bones didn't sound very exciting. But I wanted to see Grandad. We went to see Grandad and the Diplodocus at a museum. Grandad was waiting. I love my Grandad. Let's get up these big steps. The dinosaur jumps up. Let's go inside and see a real Diplodocus dinosaur. Hey, Grandad. Wow! Oh no! There was a dinosaur! There was a Diplodocus! It was real! It was big! It was bigger than me! It was too big! I was scared! What do you think, Tig? A real Diplodocus? Come on, Tig. Let's go and look at something smaller first. Come on, Tig, said Mummy. Maybe we should look at something smaller. Mummy took me to a room full of bones. Mummy looked at the bones. I was scared. There was no roaring. But what if the Diplodocus sat on Grandad? Hey, Tig, big strange things are scary. But this big strange Diplodocus dinosaur it's just a lot of old bones. Just a lot of old bones like these ones, only much bigger. A lot of old bones strung together to show what a Diplodocus looked like millions of years ago. So this Diplodocus dinosaur won't stomp or roar or sit on Grandad. This Diplodocus is just for you to look at. So now you know that the scary Diplodocus dinosaur is just a load of old bones. There's no need to be scared anymore. Go for it, Tig. Have another look at your favourite dinosaur. Yes, I thought. I want to look at my favourite dinosaur again. I crept up in Grandad's. I was pleased he hadn't been sat on. Just you! I thought it was a dinosaur come to life. <laughs> Grandad and me looked around the big, big dinosaur. Roar. It was just old bones. When I showed Wooly to the Diplodocus, it looked a little scared. Don't stomp away, I said. He's only my toy spider. I like Diplodocus. It's my favourite dinosaur. But I love Willy. We think it's Willy. Timmy's Monsters. When I was little, my friend Timmy came to play. Timmy can draw monsters. I can draw monsters too. But they're not as scary as Timmy's monsters. Timmy can roar like a monster. Roar! <laughs> I can roar like a monster too. Roar. I like monsters. I like Timmy's monsters. Body monsters. Hairy monsters. Blue monsters. <laughs> That's scary. And lots of red monsters. fun stomping and roaring. I think if the monsters were a little quieter, they might have some juice. I love monsters. 
When it was time for Timmy to go home, he gave me lots of his monsters. Thank you, Timmy. I love Timmy's monsters. And night, night time. At night time, I put Timmy's monsters under my bed. At night, the monsters roared. Ra, ra, ra. All right. The monsters woke me up. Oh, there are no monsters. They're just pictures, look. Mummy said the monsters were just pictures. No more monsters. <laughs> Mummy took Timmy's monsters away. Will they want to be cuddle? Good girl. And left the light on. I cuddled Willie. The next day, I wanted to play monsters. But Mummy had thrown the monsters in the bin. I asked Mummy for my monsters. Mummy, can I get my monsters? No, Tig, they're too noisy. Please. Mummy said the monsters were too noisy. They're just pictures, I said. Mummy said, OK. But no more roaring tonight in bed. I showed Willie my monsters. I didn't think Willie liked my monsters. No, Tig, I just don't like monsters at night. They wake me up. They wake us all up. Hmm. So, Tig, why don't we make your monsters just daytime monsters? Yeah! <laughs> there. One daytime monster. Now, at night, all the monsters need to go to bed. So we make the monster a nice comfy bed. <laughs> one comfy bed and one monster asleep. Night, night, monster. Sleep well. Night time came and all the monsters were put to bed. Night, night, monsters. Look. Night, night, monsters. There they are, all going to bed, all tucked up, ready to sleep. Mummy was about to sit on the bed when she nearly sat on Wooly. It gave her a surprise. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a toy spider. You're a toy spider. Night, night, Mummy. Night, night, Wooly. That night we all slept happily. I like my daytime monsters. I love Wooly. I don't smile. When I was little, I went to nursery school every day. Wooly came too. One day, a man was coming to take our pictures. You're going to look so pretty. Mummy wanted me to look pretty. Oh, you do have a pretty new dress, said Claire, my nursery teacher. Something very exciting's happening today, isn't it? Claire said, because the man was coming to take our pictures. So, I think we should put our aprons on to keep clean. We had to keep clean. When we went outside, we took our aprons off and put on our coats. I found a puddle. I had fun jumping in the puddle. When I came back inside, I wanted to paint. Tig, look at your socks. I'm going to have to get you some clean ones. Oh dear, said Claire. Your socks are all wet and muddy. I painted a hand painting. Claire liked my painting. Oh. Oh no, your dress. I forgot to put my apron on. My dress was covered in paint. Claire gave me some new clothes to wear. The man came to take our pictures. When the man finished clattering, he started taking photos. We took it in turns to have our picture. Say, hey, you'll have to wait, said Claire. Mummy's coming with some clean clothes. I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to change my clothes. I wanted my picture now. I felt grumpy. Mummy arrived. 
She had another dress. Claire fiddled with my hair. I felt grumpy. If she doesn't want to change, it doesn't matter. Never mind, said Mummy. If she's happy in those clothes. But I wasn't happy. I still felt grumpy. Who's next then? Next, said the man. I sat on the chair. Are you going to give me a great big smile? Smile, said the man. You sure? I don't I smile, smile, I said. OK, then. The man pressed the camera. Next, said the man. Are you next? I watched the other children having pictures. Whoa! I no one was grumpy, but I was grumpy. Hey, Tig, it's not nice feeling grumpy. But there are so many little things that can make you feel grumpy. Brushing hair, pinchy hair slides, changing clothes, waiting for things to happen, everything not being quite how you want it to be. But what can make you feel even grumpier is a grumpy face. And a grumpy face makes everyone else feel grumpy too. But if you smile, all the grumps will go away. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Give a smile and you'll feel happy all the day. Give a smile and all your grumpies will turn into your happies. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Go for it, Tig. Give a big smile for everyone. Yes, I thought. I don't want to feel grumpy anymore. I want to smile. Make everyone feel happy again. So I sat on the chair and gave the biggest smile ever. When the man saw Wooly, he didn't smile. It's only a tight spider. Oh. I love smiling. Mummy loves my smiling. Oh, look, that's a lovely picture of you, Tig. Especially in the picture. And I love Wooly. We've been guessing to Wooly. Guessing better. You're not hungry. When I was little, I got ill. I didn't want any tea. And I hurt all over. What's wrong? I don't feel very well. Oh. Mummy took my temperature. Oops, you're a bit hot, Tig, said Mummy. Let's get you to bed. I didn't feel well. Hello? When Daddy came home, he came to see me. Are you OK? You OK, Tig? Just got a bit of a temperature. No, I said. I don't feel well. Wooly cuddled in beside me. I fell asleep. When I woke up next morning, Mummy looked at me in a funny way. I know what's wrong with you. You've got chicken pox. I see what's wrong with you, Tig, said Mummy. You've got chicken pox. I look like a speckledy thing with little red spots. We'll have to get you better, said Mummy. In the day, Mummy read me lots of stories. My spots itch. Mummy put nice cool stuff all over the spots. I even had spots in my mouth. Mummy gave me lollies. Mummy made me lots of mashy meals and sloppy drinks. This one is Bernard. Bernard and <laughs> At night, Mummy gave me puppet gloves to wear so I didn't scratch. I like my puppet gloves. When Daddy came home, we played. We built things on the table. Every day my spots didn't itch. Quite so much. Oh, no red. Soon I was painting and drawing and doing things myself. Sometimes I felt a bit better. Sometimes I didn't. One day Mummy said, Tig, I think you're getting a bit better. Would you like Angel round to play? Tig, would you like Angel to come and play? Yes. <gasps> and guess what? 
She's got chicken pox as well. Yeah. <laughs> Angel's got chicken pox too, said Mummy. I was excited. I got all my toys out for Angel to play with. I played jumping from cushion to cushion. Suddenly, I didn't feel well again. I didn't want to see Angel. The doorbell went. That'll be Angel. There's Angel. I don't want to see anybody because I don't feel very well. No, I said. I don't want to see Angel. Hey, Tig, getting better can take a long time. Sometimes you feel up, sometimes you feel down. Sometimes you feel wobbly, sometimes you feel strange. Getting better is like doing everything for the first time all over again. Whee! Like walking in the street. Or going back to school. Or seeing Angel again. But every time you do something new again, you'll feel a little bit better. So go for it, Tig. Say hi to Angel. It'll make you feel like your old self again. Yes, I thought. I want to be my old self again. You got spots. I want to see my friend. I want to get better. Angel and me played. When Mummy saw Willy with spots. <gasps> oh. It's only a toy spider. Oh. I like getting better. <laughs> ben, 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 ben. I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. First day. When I was little, I loved going to my nursery school. <laughs> Willie liked my nursery school too. At my nursery school, I had my own place to put my coat. My nursery teacher is called Claire. I like Claire. Sometimes I play by myself. Sometimes I play with the other children. Sometimes I'm so busy playing that I have to give Willy to my teacher, Claire. Claire always puts Willy somewhere where he can watch me playing on the messy table. Doing my writing. Playing with the sand. Having fun with water. One day, a new little boy came to my nursery. Everybody, this is Rufus. Claire told us the new boy's name was Rufus. Rufus didn't seem very happy. Rufus didn't want to play. Claire gave Rufus some toys. Rufus just looked. When we went out to play, Rufus stayed inside. At story time, Rufus sat by himself. He didn't want to sit with me. There once was a fluffy yellow chick called Charlie. Charlie. Claire told us the story of Charlie Check. Charlie loved his mummy and he loved cuddling up underneath her warm, feathery tummy. I like the bit when Charlie Check is frightened of the outside world till he hears the chirps of the other chicks. We all chirp like Charlie. Rufus seems sad. Rufus made me sad. I was cross too. What was wrong with Rufus? Hey Tig, there's nothing wrong with Rufus. 
He doesn't mean to make you sad and cross. Rufus feels just like Charlie Chick. Chip, chip! Rufus has left the nice warm feathers of his home and come out to a new strange place. Now you know all the other children, but Rufus doesn't. You know the games, but Rufus doesn't. You know Miss Claire, but Rufus doesn't. Rufus feels lonely and Rufus feels sad. When you first came to nursery school, you had me. So if Rufus had me to help him for his first day, maybe he'd feel happier. Hey Tig, we'll make you feel happier too. Go for it. Yes, I thought. I'll give Rufus Willy for the day. Rufus likes Willy. And we went outside to play together. The next day, Rufus came to nursery with a teddy called Ed. Rufus was happy with Ed. When Ed saw Willy, he was scared. It's only my toy spider, I said. Rufus likes nursery school now. I love Willy! We've been together since we were wee.